hi friends welcome back to my channel I'm going to show you how to create the parameter and what is the purpose of parameter okay so first of all before getting started on the today's topic I would say some more information about the parameters parameter is like a, <coughs> a dynamic selection of any constant value to use as a filter or to be used into the calculated fields to achieve the desired results okay so there are multiple ways to create the parameter if you see on the screen we have the dimension and the measures present in the tableau work plane and if you right click on any of the dimension on the major for example let's say a category if i right click on the category then i have the option create calculated field group set and parameter right here so i have option to create a parameter on the field of category if i select create parameter then this small pop-up will come up <coughs> if you see here the data type is string is by default selected because the category comes under the string data type the current value is furniture because the furniture is the the first row contain the furniture as a category then we have office supply and technology which is automatically populated you can edit it if you want or you can leave it as it is okay so here you have to select the data type first then no need to select the furniture and all that thing but by default we have the list selected and the whatever values present under the category is populated over here okay so value means the actual value and the display as this this character or this will be displayed on the front side when we select the show parameter there is one more way where we can add the field from <coughs> here we have different values or different dimension already present so we can select any of these and create the parameter on the top of it okay or we can simply copy and paste from the clipboard to display and the value to see the desired displays okay so if you click on the clear all the value will go off and you will not be able to see it further but if you again add it back from the category you will be able to see it in the list of the values okay if i hit on the ok button over here then we have a parameter created category name as category parameter right here okay so now we have created this parameter and we have to use it there is mul there are multiple ways to use it basically so along uh, we cannot use parameter as a separate entity we have to use a calculated field so to use this parameter we need a calculated field i will quickly show you why so if you see here i will simply change the <coughs> style of parameter so we have furniture office and technology and I, if i simply drag the sales over here and a category over here in the column so it will not work because we have not linked parameter with category if i change anything on the parameter there there will not be any change right correct so now what i will have to do is i have to create a calculated field for the category and then i can use the parameter into that calculated fields okay i will quickly tell you how select category dot c i will first see if category is equal to <coughs> category parameter then category else 
zero int so i just try to create a simple condition expect okay i think this will work but i'm not sure so let me apply this over here and simply replace the category okay so what is happening over here if you could see you will be able to get it now i can see the what your selection sign doing into the parameter it is changing technology office supply and let me enable the text so you it will be more clear so what is happening over here is because of this parameter we can able to see the selected category and the total sales and the second bar over here is this is the um, total sales excluding the total sales of the office supply or selected category like furniture and all so this is how this parameter works but if you want to see only the uh, selected stuff into parameter then you have to use the case statement into the calculated field so how to do it i will quickly show that to you so if you could see over here we have a category and parameter okay so with what will we'll do we'll use the case statement I use category and when selected parameters category is equal to furniture then so we will only have to compare the parameter value and the category itself okay so what we will do category is equal to category parameter we will simply use this condition and hit on apply so this way we will only able to see the true and false and uh, we will simply drag that into the filter and we'll select only on true and hit on ok so for furniture you will be able to see the total sales for furniture if you select office supply you will be able to see the total sales of the office supply and that for technology you will be able to see the total sales for the technology hope you got this point let's say you want to switch between the different dimensions or the measures like uh, let's say you want to dynamically select the category and the subcategory of the product then how to do it in that case we can use the case statement and i will show you how to do it so let me drag this out let me drag this out the entire things and now um let's say i want to see uh, the map over here and across this i just want to see the uh, cells for the subcategory and category indiv on individual level okay so i'll quickly show you so it will be more clear to you all right so this is the state i will quickly enable the labels over here and the highest cells of the california and the lowest cell is like many other countries like it is many other states 
now what i'll try to do i'll simply try to if i can switch between the profit and sales for this uh, across the country then that would make a sense so i will create a parameter and we'll <coughs> use the string list here uh, instead of string it is integer right <coughs> sales sales select sales select state profit and not like this so we'll select string cells cells profit profit you don't okay now i'll create the calculated field select cells profit case statement in select cells or profit when cells selected in parameter then sum of cells when profit selected then profit end hope this is clear so we'll okay So if I simply use this into color and use this parameter over here, so you can see it. <coughs> Let me try to add that into the color. So will make more sense so currently sales figures is enabled i'll remove this state label. and if i select the profit okay so nothing is popping up because something is going wrong so we'll check quickly what is going wrong so profit p is capital and over here yeah that is correct and let me select this one okay this p is small so we'll profit and hit on okay so see you are able to see the profit across the entire country for the different states and if you hit on the sales you are able to see the sales over here so this is how you can use the parameters into your data visualization and use it to achieve the desired results okay so there are some limitations but you will learn that with time once i got a relevant case study i will definitely make another video on the limitations of the parameter so till then hope you got how to create the parameter and how to use the parameters into the tableau if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and share your thoughts into the comment section and we'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye happy learning